Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com. And this is lesson 5.2 in our video series. We're going to be in section 220.14 and we're going to be doing a good overview and a great foundation of commercial load calculations. Later in the program, if you'd like to do some more obscure, more rare commercial load calculations, you'll have the opportunity to do that as well. Let's get to it. How many VAs would you calculate for seven branch circuits where each branch circuit was dedicated for signs and outline lighting in a commercial building? Step one, find our total connected load. For this, we're going to go to 220.14F, and it lets us know that for each circuit, it's going to be 1,200 VAs per circuit. We have seven circuits multiplied by 1,200 equals 8,400 VAs. Now, let's check for demand factors. Anytime you're doing commercial lighting, you're going to go to table 220.42 if you're in the 17 or the 20, or table 220.45 if you're in the 23. Same table, different title. And when we get there, we're going to start on the left-hand side of this table, and we're going to look for our type of occupancy. It does not mention a generic commercial building. It only mentions dwelling units, hotels and motels, so on and so forth. So if your area is not listed, you have to go down to the bottom to all locations not specified below. Then we cross over and find out that there is no demand factor when you're dealing with this type of lighting, and we're going to select C. Great job. There are two 25-foot sections of show window lighting in a bookstore front in Johnson City. What is the branch circuit VA load that you would calculate? Step one, we're going to find our total connected load. For this, we're going to head to 220.14G. It's going to let us know that it's 200 VA per linear foot. We take our 50 feet multiplied by 200 VAs each. That's going to give us a starting connected load of 10,000 VAs. Now, we check for demand factors. We're going to head over to that same table and we're going to look for our type of occupancy here on the left and we're not going to find it. We're going to find that we cross over and that it's 100% so there's no demand factor applied and we're going to select B. Great job. For commercial occupancies, what is the calculated receptacle outlet load per yoke? First, we're going to find our total connected load. For that, we're going to head to 220.14i, and it's going to let us know that it's 180 VAs per yoke. But the question is, what is a yoke? This is a yoke. Starting on the left-hand side, it's also a device strap. It's what holds all the pieces together. What this code is stating is that whether we have a single, a duplex, or even this old-school triplex here, each one of those would count as 180 VAs each. I like to think about it as each gang counting as 180 VAs. So if I have a single gang box, it's 180 VAs. If I have a two gang box and they're both containing receptacles on each side, it would count as 180 VAs per gang and so on and so forth as you went to three and four gangs. Anytime you're dealing with a device strap, whether it has one, two, or three receptacles on it, it's 180 VAs per yoke. Now let's check for demand factors. There are demand factors that are allowed to apply to a whole load calculation like this. Our question was just asking for how much per yoke, so we're not going to apply anything, but we're going to learn in the next question how to apply the demand factor to this portion of the calculation. And we select B. What is the total VA receptacle load you would calculate for a 25,000 square foot office building with 250 receptacles? First, we're going to find our total connected load. To do that, we're going to head to 220.14K if we're in the 17 or 20, and we're going to head to 220.14J if we're in the 2023. Same information, different name. Both of them state that we must select the larger of one or two. So we're going to do two different calculations and select the larger of the two. Part one says that you must calculate it at 180 VAs per yoke, like we learned before. And part two says you must calculate it at one VA per square foot. Let's do our first one. We have 250 receptacles multiplied by 180 VAs each. That gives us 45,000 VAs before demand factors. Part two says we need to take it at one VA per square foot. So we take 25,000 square foot multiplied by one. That equals 25,000 square foot. That portion of the calculation we're done, but that first part, there is a demand factor that applies to it. So we check for demand factors. That leads us to table 220.44 if we're in the 17 or 20, and table 220.47 if we're in the 2023. Same information, different title. 
when we get there, we're going to see it's very similar to table 220.42 and 220.45, depending on what code cycle we're in, in that we're going to start on the left-hand side, and it's going to tell us our portion of VAs, and then on the right side, it's going to tell us our demand factor in percentage. And this table is for non-dwelling unit receptacles. Let me break it down one step at a time. What this table tells us to do is to take our first 10,000 VAs at 100%. Then we take that remainder and multiply it by 0 0.50, and then we can't forget to add the two back together. We take the 10,000 that we set to the side, we take the new reduced load, we add them together, and we get 27.5, and we select B. Great job. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com. And this is lesson 5.2 in our video series. We're going to be in section 220.14, and we're going to be doing a good overview and a great foundation of commercial load calculations. Later in the program, if you'd like to do some more obscure, more rare commercial load calculations, you'll have the opportunity to do that as well. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, that's it for this lesson. You can head over to electricalexamcoach.com to unlock the pro version and the unlimited testing center. We also offer our full program on USB drive and DVD, so you can watch it offline and without commercials virtually anywhere. It also includes the MP3 files of all the lessons, so if you just want to listen to them as you drive down the road or while you're on the job site, you can do that. You can check out all that in the link in the description below. Most importantly, I want you to know that I offer 100% free coaching in life and in business. Just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. I just want to see you guys win. Let's get to it.